Hey YouTube, AZ Bill 3433 here once again. And as you can see by the title of this video that I'm going to do a uh, DIY of a remote alcohol feeder. Um, the one you see over here right now that I took some pictures of that you saw at the beginning is one that I built yesterday and right now it's working and I'm not doing a cooking demonstration or anything else but I'm just running that one over there uh, with, a, uh, with one of my uh, uh, beer pots. Uh, so this is one I'm running good now. Uh, as you can see, I have this one up on some wooden blocks here, and the reason for that is that the the output uh, the micro nipple here has to be at least the same height as the nipple on the stove itself, or just slightly higher for it to feed correctly. So this is the reason why that particular stove has a very high nipple on it at at the moment. So I have to raise this up slightly. So anyway, let's get started with the uh, uh, the DIY. I've got the three pieces, and this is the one inch uh, PVC cap, and this is a bushing or a reducer, and uh, that's gonna that goes down inside here eventually once we've worked on this a little bit, and then I've got a cap to a Coke bottle, and this is something similar I think that um, Hiram Cook, and, and in fact. Um, at the end here, I'm going to put some links on to both Hiram Cook, who just did a video on uh, making these, and also uh, uh, Smoke Eater 908 did two videos, uh, not recently, but quite a while back that you can look at. And also there's one called Trail Hound. He just did one here recently. And uh, I'm going to put a link to all those in the description that you'll be able to see all that. Now we're going to work on the, first of all, we're going to work on the cap first. Now this cap, as you can probably see here, it, uh, it's rounded on the bottom portion here. So we're going to have to actually uh, sandpaper this down and take all this off and flatten it off. Otherwise it just rocks, you know, like crazy here. So we're going to do that. We're going to work on that. We're going to put the hole in for the drill to hold, the 156 diameter drill and the 1032 tap. It's a, a number 10. Uh, screw with a 32 threads per inch and we're going to tap that also. I'm going to do all that on the side and then I'll just bring it back once I'm done with it and show you the the results as we do it. So I'm going to work on that first and what I actually do for actually getting the uh, flatness on the bottom here is that you take a nice uh, kind of coarse sandpaper and just roll this around. This takes about 15 or 20 minutes at least to do that because that's a quite a bit of material to come off there. Now, when we do the drilling, uh, when we do the drilling on that, I wanted to show you this, and this is really kind of like a, a depiction of what this cap looks like, sectioned, uh, a cross section of it, and let me get my pen out. And if this were the drill, we're gonna wanna drill into the side here, but we're gonna wanna drill so that we kind of intersect a portion of the base down at the bottom here. Uh, it doesn't, we don't want to go up here because then we're going to have a pool and it's not going to actually function real well. So we're really going to want to be down here so we don't have a pulling of alcohol down here. So when we drill it, we're going to try to intersect a portion of the material on the bottom. So that, that's what we're intending to do. And uh, we're also going to put a flat on one side there so that our uh, micro nipple uh, will seat uh, decently. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to work on this and when I get to a point where we're somewhat complete on that, I'm going to be back, be back and show you what the results are. So be back in a while. Bye bye. Okay, we're back. Um, we've actually taken, we've got the uh, nice flat on the bottom of the uh, cap. And uh, I think you saw where I did some pictures of the, uh, the tapping, the drilling and the tapping. And let me see if we can get a look on the inside here at all. Let me see here. I don't know if you can see inside there. Um, the, the drill and the tap are right at the uh, top of the um, of the inside of the uh, of the cap, so it's 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 right there. Uh, I think you can see that pretty good right there. That's that's good. Now I've already installed the uh, micro nipple, but I did want to tell you I put a O ring on here. I've always done that on all of mine just to you know you know 
make sure it doesn't leak at all. But let me tell you how you do this because these are the, the diameter of the of the uh, micro nipple uh, on the threaded area is a 190 thousandths. I use one eighth inch by one quarter inch uh, O-rings, and uh, the only way I found the best way to get that to actually go together and put the O-ring over it is I take I have an awl here, and I take the O-ring and I just push it down over the awl to, to uh, stretch out the O-ring beforehand. And you could do this with a small, you know, Phillips screwdriver or something like that, and they'll do kind of like the same thing. And once I've worked that a few times over the awl, it goes over real easily over, over the third portion of the nipple. So anyway, that's, that's what I do with that. Again, these are eighth inch by one quarter inch O-rings. And when you tighten this up, it'll depress that O-ring and flatten it out a little bit. Now, if you buy O-rings from McMaster car, I think they come with a washer, so you don't have to do that. But I've always done this just for safety's sake. All right. So uh, next, we're going to go to the uh, we're going to go to the bushing or the reducer here, and we're going to cut our slot. It's going to go all the way through the this portion. I've actually uh, what I did beforehand. I did this actually yesterday. I actually drilled out. There was actually a flange in the bottom here. I drilled that portion out with a step drill. This is one of those big step drills, inch and an eighth is the maximum diameter. And I also had to bore out the uh, inner portion too to fit my cap that I'm using from the Coke bottle. <clears throat> so anyway, I've already done that. So now I'm going to do the air hole or air slot here. And then we're going to turn it 90 degrees. It has to be 90 degrees. And I'm going to put a 3 16 drill right here and we're going to have ourselves a notch 90 degrees from where the slot is. Now to do the uh, to do the, uh, let's see here, if I've got it here, here, here we are. I've got myself a, uh, this is just a hand hacksaw type, and that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to put it in my vise. Now, I would recommend when you put it in your vise that you take some sandpaper. And yeah, let me see if i got a piece sitting over here anywhere. Uh, let's see, i got one over here. You would take yourself a piece of sandpaper and wrap it around the diameter of the uh, when you put it in there, you don't then you don't bug up any of the plastic on you know either a, if you're going to use a bushing like this or you're just going to use um, you know just PVC pipe like you'll see in Hiram Cook. That's what he used just PVC pipe. Um, just do do that and then you won't bug it up when you put it in your vise and do the cutting and whatever you're going to do in the vise. So that's just a, a little thing that I normally do. So let me go ahead and I'm going to. Do the slot and uh, put the hole in 90 degrees from there. And once I get that all done, I'm going to actually put the hole in, and I'm going to have to use a rat tail file to clean it up a little bit, and uh, we'll sandpaper the slot to clean that up somewhat and get all the boogers and everything else off of there. So I'll be back when I've got that, and we'll take a look at it when I got got it done. Be back in a minute. Okay, we're back. Um, so okay, now we've got our slot on the uh, bushing for the air. And we've got 90 degrees from there. We got a notch, and um, so that's we're pretty much finished with this. Let's do a dry run. If you put it down inside, that notch is going to line up with your uh, micro nipple. And uh, let's see. Let's make sure that's true. And let's see. I think you can see down inside there. Uh, let me see. Yeah, there. I think you can see it down inside that you've you've got a um, excess from the uh, reservoir on the inside to the micro nipple and that's uh, that's how it's going to look. Now, got to do the cap and with the cap now what we're going to do is we're going to take out almost uh, all of this black portion that you see on, on the cap right there. We're going to actually take and I'm going to drill an eight inch pilot hole and then let's see I think this is the one I used last time and it's another just step drill, and this is one from Harbor Freight also. And I'm um, going to put that in my um, drill press, and we'll feed it up to, I think, the largest of the, the sizes on here. And I don't remember what size it is, but we'll feed it up there until we got the hole in there big enough. And then we'll be right back and uh, take a look at it from then, and we'll be ready to put it together. Okay, we're back. All right, as you can see here, I've got the hole in the, uh, in the cap. Uh, let's see, you can see the... It goes through, let's see, look like that. You can see the hole there now. 
When you do the drill that out uh, with that step drill, you're probably going to need uh, an X-Acto or some kind of sharp knife because you're going to get a ragged, the uh, plastic seal on the inside of the cap is going to be a little ragged and you're going to have to use the X-Acto to clean it up somewhat. So this is already in. I'm just going to do this as a dry run. Um, again, with the notch here, we want to line that up with the uh, micro nipple. Just line it up in K okay, and we're going to press this in. Now I'm not going to press this all the way in because I'm going to take this in the house and, and uh, glue the cap in and once I press this all the way down it's going to be a real tight seal and everything else so I'm not going to press it down until I glue this cap in. <clears throat> so this is basically we're done. I mean once I get this glued up we're done and uh, it's a usable you know good alcohol remote feeder. So. Um, uh, I don't think there's anything else I can uh, relate to you. What I'm actually going to do is, again, I'm, there are three people who have done videos on this. Smoke Eater 908. Uh, Hiram Cook has done one just here recently, which is a really good one. Uh, it was about 19 min minutes long and it was pretty comprehensive. And uh, also Trailhound did one about a week or so ago and you can take a look at his. I'll, I'll put links in the description on all of those. and. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, these are nice to make. They're pretty simple to make and they only cost in total of about three dollars to make. That's just, just about it. So anyway, thanks for watching. Any comments or questions please let me know. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye bye. Okay, this is just a little postscript so uh, you can actually see this in action with our little soda bottle remote. Alcohol feed, and you'll be able to see, I think, uh, bubbles coming up. There you go. There's one. So, anyway, it works. And uh, thank you for watching, and uh, we will see you later. Bye-bye.